Hi, I'm James, and this is just a quick video uh, looking at something which has affected me on a few laptops which I have used and which is a really easy thing to just sort out and change, and that is the Windows 10 S mode. Now, for a lot of people, actually running an S mode may not be a bad thing. Um, you do get a bit more protection in terms of not being able to accidentally run malware and so on on your system, but for me, it's quite limiting. So, for example, here, I want to run CPU-Z, and we find that for security and performance, this mode of Windows only runs verified apps from the store. That's because this machine has been sold with Windows 10 Home in S mode. Now we can uh, go through and say, do we want to unrun this, uh, run this unverified app? And it will take us through to do that. Um, but if you don't want to have to run an application to do it, it's very simple to get out of this mode. So if we bring up the start menu and go to settings, we then need to go to update and security, activation, and in here we can see our system is running Windows 10 Home in S mode, and below it we have the option to switch to Windows 10 Home. So to do this, we click go to the store. Uh, this machine is not currently set up with a Microsoft account, but we'll see here, switch out of S mode. This page gives us the benefits and uh, sort of negatives of doing so. So it will show us what we gain the ability to do being out of S mode. So we get access to various different features. And if we press get, now to see this, yeah, it is going to make us sign in and use a Microsoft account. So I am just going to do that quickly. Uh, obviously, if you don't have a Microsoft account, you will have to set one up. But you don't have to use it system-wide, so in this case, I'm not using it for the login on the system. I'm just going to use it to do this. So now we are out of S mode. And we can see we are now running Windows 10 Home. Windows is activated with a digital license. And switching back to this... We are now able to run CPU ID, CPU Z on the system. I hope you found this video useful. Uh, do let me know if you would like to see anything further from us in the comments. And like and subscribe if you found this a helpful video. Thanks for watching.